Do you guys experience dryness? Do you always do everything possible to keep your hair hydrated and moisturized but your hair just turns out dry and keeps being dry no matter what you do? If so, this video is for you. Hi everyone, it's your girl Tina Alisa. Welcome to my channel. On my channel, I talk about how to maintain and keep your natural hair healthy and growing and also how to understand your natural hair so today i'm going to be talking about dryness yes dryness if you are new to my channel do make sure you subscribe to my channel and click on that notification bell to turn on your post notification but if you've been here before welcome back so dryness a lot of women always moisturize their hair, always do deep conditionings and apply a lot of things to make sure that their hair is hydrated and to make sure that their hair stays moisturized. But after everything, after all efforts they actually make, it just turns out useless. So today I'm going to be explaining to you why your hair isn't being moisturized, why what you're doing probably is not what you're supposed to be doing to get your hair moisturized. First of all, I'm going to be talking about hair porosity yes before you can actually moisturize your hair and you know get the best moisturizing step or the best moisturizing product or anything actually to make sure that your hair is moisturized you have to know your hair's porosity hair porosity is basically how water and moisture or anything gets in and out of your hair. Dryness is caused by different reasons based on your porosity. Today I'm going to be talking about the two types of hair porosity and why they are dry. I'm going to be talking about low porosity and high porosity and giving you reasons why your hair is or is dry depending on your hair's porosity. So I'm going to be starting off with low porosity. Low porosity hair finds it very difficult to actually get moisture into the hair. This is because the cuticles are laying very tightly and flat. When you apply product or anything at all on low porous hair, imagine a dew on a leaf, those droplets, that's how everything you apply including water or any liquid form is sitting on your hair and also any product, any cream, any oil whatsoever just sits on your hair and is not able to go in thereby causing dryness due to lack of moisture actually getting into your hair cuticles and moisturizing your hair. So I'm going to be giving you tips on how to actually make sure that you combat this dryness and make sure that you're really really getting moisture into your hair. The first tip I'm going to be giving if you have low porous hair is to do deep conditioning. Deep conditioning will actually help you get moisture into your hair and always make sure to add humectants. Humectants will actually help draw in more moisture. They attract moisture into your hair and help to bind it in your hair so next time you're doing a deep conditioning make sure to add your honey and your aloe vera to actually help in draw in that moisture that your hair is going to be needing the second tip I'm going to be giving is to use heat yes use heat when I'm talking about heat I am not talking about you know using a blow dryer or a straightener whatsoever that is not the type of heat I'm talking about the type of heat I'm talking about is to use a steaming cap Yes, it is very very good to invest in a steamer if you are low porosity. A steamer would actually help to create that moisture environment around your hair and also it creates this heat which would help to open up your cuticle so your hair can actually absorb in the moisture rather than the moisture just sitting on your hair so do invest in a steamer if you are low porosity it will actually do you a lot of good my next step is something that most people don't really do clarifying your hair cleansing your hair when i'm talking about cleansing i don't just mean like just washing your hair or something when i mean clarifying your hair i mean like doing a detox kind of thing on your hair to make sure that product build up you know dirt and everything really really stuck in and deep into your follicles are cleansed and removed from your hair because this can actually stunt growth and this can actually get a barrier of moisture not getting into your hair and even on your scalp it just sits up and it doesn't get in to do its work so clarifying your hair and your scalp at least once a month 
is advisable you can go in with a clarifying shampoo of your choice or you can use clay your vinegar i have a video on how i do a clay rinse to actually clarify my hair i'll put the link down in the description box so just make sure you are clarifying your hair moisturizing properly yes now this is it after you're done clarifying whatsoever and you know making sure your hair is clean and not dirty and all that sort of things you have to moisturize your hair yes when i mean moisturize your hair for low porosity you don't just go in spraying water that won't do anything because it's literally going to be sitting on your hair if you want to really moisturize your hair while it's dry try mixing your leave-in conditioner with water then spraying it on your hair leave-in conditioners contain surfactants surfactants are things that reduce surface tension and increases adhesion between your hair and the product so when you're mixing your water with your leave-in conditioner the surfactants in it actually help make your hair and the moisture attract and gently absorb into your hair so when you actually spray that on your hair don't just go putting on any other thing make sure to work it in make sure your hair slowly and you know gradually take in that moisture okay it's not going to be just spray it and go so you have to walk your way in and make sure it's getting it after applying your leave-in conditioner which is water-based you don't just go out low porosity moisture steps should be moisture stroke water then your oils yes you have to use oils you don't go on using things that are heavy like your sealants and butters you don't go heavy you go light even if you're going to use heavy oils which some people do and their hair is cool with it you just have to actually know what is going to work for your hair some people use castor oil which is quite heavy like it's a sealant some people use that but you actually make sure you have more of light penetrable oils like oils that actually penetrate into your hair well, don't go too heavy because it just stays on your hair and causes product buildup. So now I'm going to be talking about high porosity. When you imagine high porous hair, imagine a pine cone. It's so porous that things get in and things go out. So to actually keep in moisture in high porosity hair, number one, avoid using heat. Yes, avoid using heat. It's not advisable because your hair cuticle it's already open. So any other type of heat you apply would just keep on making it open if at all you're doing a deep conditioning and you want to like you know wear a cap or anything you could just go for five to ten minutes yes you can go because even without covering your hair your hair is still going to get it in yes it's still going to go in so if at all you want to actually you know do that for a few minutes don't do it overnight because as much as you think you're not using a steamer or any heating aid you covering your hair for over an hour or like overnight is just going to make your hair more porous like more open if you have high porous hair do proteins protein treatment but do not overuse because even if you have high porous hair you can still have protein overload so just do this when your hair needs it moisturize properly when I talk about low porous hair moisturizing, I just did a two step like moisture, then you know your oils. But when you are moisturizing high porous hair, you need to go heavy. From your moisture, which is going to be your water based product, your leave in conditioner, whatsoever, you go in with your oils. After your oils, you go in with your sealant. Another mistake that people with high porous hair make is actually using humectants, humectants to spray on their hair, like humectants like aloe vera or you know maybe you mix something and you add honey to it. Using a humectant actually raises your hair cuticle. Yes, humectants are good for low porous hair, but when it comes to high porous hair, it would raise your hair cuticles, which are already raised. So you're going to make your hair even more porous than it was, and you don't need that hair. Don't just go around spraying aloe vera on your hair. It's not advisable if it works for you then fine no problem but it's an advice you can take it you might even have experienced dryness when using that when you're done with you know the moisture step go in with your oils make sure you're using penetrating oils light oils heavy oils whatsoever make sure they penetrate your hair walk your way through then go in with your butters 
you can go in with either butters or you can actually go in with sealing oils it depends on what you actually prefer some people don't like going in with butters because it leaves like a greasy kind of feeling to them you can also use you no know, sealing oils like heavy oils like castor oil heavy oils that could actually seal it in do vinegar rinses so when you do vinegar rinses it helps to you know seal down your cuticle like lay it down so that's just all the tips I have for you today. I hope these tips were helpful and I hope you actually understand to some extent why your hair has been dry and how to, you know, up up your moisture game and make sure that your hair is moisturized and stays moisturized. Thank you so much for watching this video and I still remember your girl Tina Oli said, make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel if you are not yet subscribed and turn on your post notifications. I will see you in my next video. Bye!